Welcome to the Thunderstorm Productions Fun Food Equipment Tutorials. Here, you'll find all you need to know about setting up, operating, and cleaning your fun food machines to make your event a huge success. Thunderstorm Productions, we bring the fun. Popcorn machine. So today from Thunderstorm Productions, we're gonna show you how to use our popcorn machine. The machine will come to you delivered set up like this, either on a cart or just by itself on a table, depending on what you'd like. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, open up your doors. Your first switch here is the light and the warmer. What it does is the light just lights up your popcorn to show everybody what it looks like, makes it look a lot more presentable, as well as the bottom has an actual warmer. So it keeps the popcorn fresh and keeps the, um, that nice smell of fresh popcorn. The next things you're gonna do are these two switches, motor and the kettle heat. Open up your kettle, and you're gonna take a half stick of your butter, take it out of the wrapper, pop it into the kettle, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wait until the butter has melted, but while you're waiting for that, you're gonna get your popcorn kernels up to the top of the blue line, and you're gonna add in a little bit of this stuff, which is the flavor call. It's like your popcorn seasoning um, and your butter salt. So we'll just add a little bit of that to the mix. That just gives it, like I said, a little bit of flavor. It makes it taste a little bit better. So what you do is you're just gonna wait a couple seconds here until the butter is melted. So the nice thing is your first batch will take a, a few minutes just for the kettle to get up to temperature before the butter melts. As of right now, our butter's actually melted, so we'll take our kernels and our salt, we'll just pour it into the kettle, and then just close the lid. My suggestion is always, once the kettle's hot, don't use the handle anymore. Use either a knife or the flipper or anything like that to actually open the kettle. You just don't want to burn yourself. Once that's done, you're just going to close the bottom and close your doors a little bit. You want to keep it a little bit open just so that the uh, steam can escape and then we wait. So the other thing you can do is while you're waiting for your batch to pop, get ready with your next batch because when you're going to do multiple batches in a row, you want to go right away because the kettle is still super hot and you don't want any of your oil to burn. So what you're going to do is get your next batch of popcorn kernels again to the top of the blue line. Just add in a little bit of the popcorn seasoning and then as soon as your first batch is done, you're ready to make your second. So the way the popcorn machine works is it's a lot like if you have microwave popcorn. So what you want to do, you don't want to let it burn. So when it starts to slow down, that's your signal to, to um, empty out the popping kettle. So what we'll do is we'll show you how to do that and then how to go straight into your next batch. So right about now it's starting to slow down. So what I would do is open up your doors, grab your handle, and just give it a couple little taps like that. Then what you can do is use your scoop and flip the lid back up again so you're ready for your next batch. We're going to take our second half of the butter stick, pop that in. Again, wait for that to melt, which should go much quicker because the kettle's already at heat. Also, after every batch, what I would suggest, take your scoop and shuffle all your popcorn around. There's a grate on the floor inside the machine that allows you to have all the unpopped kernels fall through to the bottom. Because the last thing you want to do is give your customers unpopped kernels. Nobody likes that. So give it a nice little shuffle. Everything goes out, and then you're ready for your next batch. It's already melted already, so we'll take the popcorn and the seasoning that we already had ready, pour it in, close the lid again. Again, once the kettle's hot, you don't want to actually touch it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this is our last batch. If you were going to continue making batches, what you would do is, again, get ready with some more kernels, some more butter. But for this purpose, what we're going to do is pop our second batch, and I'll show you how to end your batches. Okay? Also, that's the tray where all your unpopped kernels go. So make sure after every couple of batches, you want to empty that out. So on your final batch, what you're going to do is just monitor the popcorn. As soon as it starts popping enough to lift the lid and start to spill out of the kettle, you want to turn off the kettle heat. What that'll do is it'll leave enough heat in your popcorn machine to finish the batch, but won't allow any of the excess butter to burn off and won't create any smoke. So again, we're going to pretend that this is our final batch. Once it lifts enough, you're going to turn off just the kettle heat. You're going to leave the motor on to keep stirring, and you're also going to leave the heat on for the bottom and the light as well. And cleanup is very easy as well. What you're going to do 
just make sure you throw out all the extra kernels, all the extra popcorn, and just make sure you empty the tray in the bottom, and then we'll come back to pick it up for you, and we'll be ready for its next rental. And then again, same thing as your first batch. Once it gets to a point where you think it's, you know, popped enough, like microwave popcorn, grab your handle again, and a couple light taps. And then grab your scoop, and just shuffle all that popcorn around, making sure you get rid of all the unpopped kernels. And then, underneath the cart, reach in, grab yourself a bag, open it up, grab a scoop, and make sure you fill it nice and full as well. People always like that. And then you're all set. After about five minutes, once your kettle is cooled down, you're going to turn off the motor switch, always leaving on the first switch, which is your light and your heating element. Because what it'll do is it'll keep the popcorn nice and warm and allow that smell that everybody enjoys to go through. And it also keeps the popcorn nice and fresh. Thanks for checking out our videos. Feel free to visit us online at our website, thunderstormpro.com.